Okay. Is your version of Spirit Talker that runs on your Apple device doing this? That's because the latest update of iOS 17 now requires apps to request the permission to access the sensors in the phone. And because that permission hasn't been granted, Spirit Talker doesn't work because Spirit Talker uses the sensors in your phone. For brand new and fresh installs, when Spirit Talker is loading, you'll be greeted with this little notification pop up that asks you to allow the motion fitness permission. Click on allow and Spirit Talker will just load normally. For everyone else who already has Spirit Talker installed, please watch this next bit. Click on settings and then scroll down until you find Spirit Talker. Click on Spirit Talker. In here, you will find the setting for motion and fitness. All you have to do is turn that toggle on and now Spirit Talker will have access to the sensors that it needs in order to work. So flick that toggle on, close down the settings and open up Spirit Talker and now you'll see that it loads and works perfectly fine. If you open up Spirit Talker within the settings of the phone and you see the motion and fitness permission at the top and it's kind of greyed out and you can't access it, that's because you need to turn fitness on within the phone. So to do that, go into settings and scroll down until you see privacy and security and click on it. Scroll down again until you see motion and fitness and click on that. And then turn on the fitness and tracking toggle. And now all of the apps that have access to the sensors in your phone will be listed here and you can turn that permission on and off from within here rather than going to each individual app separately. And as you can see now, Spirit Talker is working fine. So no, the latest update of iOS has not killed Spirit Talker. What it has done is shown that Spirit Talker does use the sensors in your phone. So it's kind of funny because all you people out there that have been saying Spirit Talk is just a random countdown timer and it doesn't use the sensors. Well, you lot have just had to eat your words. Even though I proved this on Android a long time ago, it has now just been proved on iOS. You have just been shown that it doesn't work without the sensors. It just crashes. <laughs> anyway, I hope that helps everyone. See you in the next one.